Hi, I'm Eric for Ecomposer Shopify Page Builder. Welcome to Ecomposer Extension Tutorials. Every day, there are 98% of visitors to your website live without taking any action, according to many trustworthy resources. That's a worrisome fact, especially if you own an e-commerce store that relies on sale. If you are struggling with increasing sale, you should know about the sale notification extension of eComposer. So, what it is? Sale notification is the pop-up that appears in one specific position on the visitor screen whenever another customer has purchased on your site. As a result, this would increase peer referrals and fear of missing out between customers, which strongly encourages them to purchase your product. Now, let's dive in installing the extension. Before we start, I have to notice that the extension can work on the whole page category, so you need to build your own template first. And please remember, e Composer provides you with a template library whenever you open the editor. Now, I will choose my favorite template. So, this is the outcome. Now, we will install the extension. In the elements bar, please scroll down and you can see extension. Choose add more. From the extension library, please scroll down and you can see sale notification. Please click install now. Okay, we will manage its setting. Overall, there are five different settings for you to choose Starting with general, we provide animal cell notification, extension position, or three different time settings for you to choose. Next, verification and its icon is also provided. In the next setting is data. There are two different data stores for you to choose. The first one is manual. If you choose manual, there will be a form for you to fill the customer name, their country, and purchase product as well. If you choose auto-generate, it will automatically send your order layers from your Shopify store to show in the pop-up. Now, I will choose manual import and fill my customer name in here. Okay, it's done. We also provide three other settings such as style, typography, and animation. We provide something such as color option or something else like that. And you can find out more via the link in the description below. Now I will save the settings and publish the template. Let's take a look on the live site. So, this is the outcome. You can easily see the extension is working properly here whenever you open the live site. Customer name and the purchase product is also displayed as you can see. That's all. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join your composer community to get quick support. And the latest update, I'm putting the details in the description below. See you again in the next video. Goodbye.